This episode of the Kutu Muay Thai Podcast is brought to you by PMTLifestyle.com, authentic Muay Thai lifestyle by Kutu. Definitely go check out the website at PMTLifestyle.com for some awesome lifestyle merchandise that's for those of you out there either involved in Muay Thai, looking at getting involved in Muay Thai, and embrace a healthier lifestyle to live the life of Nak Muay. Go check it out. Swanty Cop guys, it's Crew Jonathan over at Kutu Muay Thai, broadcasting live today from Oslo, Norway. Okay, so I know it's been a little bit, uh, it was kind of like a little bit of transition, super stoked to be back to the podcast and be able to be back here and uh, back on our YouTube format and everything as well. Um, so just so you guys know, along with the podcast, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share this podcast guys, there's a ton of content on here that I know a lot of people, they always ask me about it and I think it's a great idea to be able to share, that way we help grow Muay Thai, all right? With that said, today, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, we've been coming up, today is, I think, December 2nd here in Norway, and December 2nd, that means it's the morning of December 2nd back in the U.S. So, we're going through another shutdown here in California. Uh, there's partial shutdown here in Oslo, Norway as well. Uh, with that said, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people have free time again, unfortunately. Uh, and, you know, we're not saying free time's bad, but it's not, it, it's only good really when I feel, maybe when it's planned. Uh, but needless to say, you don't always have those options in the books. Um, so I wanted to go over today, places where you can watch Muay Thai fights that are still happening. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of questions about combat sports. Just so you guys know, like in California, U.S., combat sports is still happening. All right, with people like, such as Dana White and UFC, who actually helped get combat sports back in. Uh, they were one of the first live sports that came back after the shutdowns back in March. So if you guys haven't checked that out, there's actually a really cool documentary I highly recommend. I think it's on uh, ESPN+. Plus. I think they have like a like a 30 day trial or something like that for like five bucks. It's worth it. There's a documentary it's called fight Island declassified some great details and information about how they pulled off this whole elaborate fight Island in the ass islands in Dubai. So it's pretty spectacular. Show some behind the scenes, what testing's like, uh, what the combat athletes had to go through in order to be able to compete, uh, what the promotion had to do in order to make this happen. They literally jumped through hoops. And uh, I gotta give props. I mean, I'm not super into mixed martial arts, but Dana White made and saved combat sports, in my opinion. So, and he got it. So it's the first thing back on TV, first live sport back on TV since shutdown. And many people were fighting against them. So definitely go check that out. Highly recommend it. I don't get any affiliation with like HBO Plus or anything like that. I just think it's really, as a martial artist, as like a fight sports fan and stuff like that too, I think it's something that everybody could appreciate out there. Even maybe if you're not involved in it, maybe you're involved more like business, uh, entrepreneurial aspects. Uh, Dana White really helped set the precedent for that. So we're going to go into where you can watch Muay Thai Live uh that's still happening, okay, if that makes sense. Once there were shutdowns, everything stopped, right? Like I was saying, UFC first one back on the air. So they are having fights in Asia. So you're seeing Thailand. There's a, the, most of the promotions I'm gonna mention today are gonna be based out of Thailand. There are other small ones that are popping back up. Uh, I think Muay Thai Grand Prix, which is like a br offshoot of Lion Fight Promotion. So there's Muay Thai Grand Prix and then Lion Fight Promotion. All right. These two people, they've basically been co-promoters before, uh, you know, with Lion Fight being North America, Muay Thai Grand Prix being, being like the European version of Lion Fight. And they kind of co-promote together with their fighters that they had. All right, so definitely go check those two out. Uh, but the ones that I've seen going on the most, these are the ones I recommend, the most easily accessible too. First one on the list. All right, it's gonna be a promotion that I've seen grow over the past 10 years uh, based upon like a uh, martial arts academy uh, that's based in Singapore. Uh, so this one, it's in that martial arts academy is Evolve MMA. Uh, it's Chetri Sit Yotong. He's based out of Thailand. 
uh, you know, he's the basically the CEO of One FC. So if you guys ever heard of One FC, definitely you guys need to go check out their. They have like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that stuff. They have a lot of their fights for free up on YouTube. That's what I'd recommend to go watch. All right, really great resource. They have like MMA, they have kickboxing, they have Muay Thai. They do the Muay Thai in MMA gloves typically now. They used to do them in the traditional boxing gloves, but now they're doing more of them in the MMA gloves. So 1FC would be my first one to check out. They tend to do events like they were doing them um, about every other week live and it was free. So if you're on the West Coast in California, they typically around 5.30 a.m. Uh, if you're in on the East Coast of the United States, you know, New York, Florida, all that stuff, what does that put you at like uh, 8.30 a.m. on like a Friday? So if you're not working, you can definitely go check it out. If you're in California, watch before you go to work. Um, you'll see the likes of the Fairtex fighters on there. Um, man, what's the one? You know, obviously Stamp Fairtex. Uh, you're seeing Wonder Girl on there, Supergirl. Uh, all the Thai fighters from, from Fairtex. Uh, you're also seeing Rod Tang. If you guys haven't seen Rod Tang, who hasn't seen Rod Tang? If you haven't, definitely go check this guy out. All right. Uh, also, you're seeing the likes of like uh, Georgia Petrosian in there and kickboxing. Uh, you saw the collapse of Glory kickboxing. Uh, and a lot of those fighters are now signing with 1FC. So you're going to start seeing, I, I believe, uh, Anissa Mexen is on there. If you guys don't know who Anissa Mexen is, uh, definitely one of the top women kickboxers in the world. Also a Muay Thai fighter too. So uh, definitely go check out Anissa Mexen, maybe do some YouTube, some Google food, go check out one of her fights. Uh, hopefully she gets some events uh, going for herself on 1FC as well. Okay, but I go same for these. You'll see them, they'll be in uh, the MMA gloves for 1FC. You'll also see them in cages. You'll see like the Muay Thai fights in a cage. You'll also see them in a ring. All right, kind of just depends on what they have more on the event, more MMA, or do they have more like striking-based uh, arts on there? Because they'll do a mixed card. Sometimes they'll be MMA, kickboxing, Muay Thai. Sometimes there's Muay Thai and kickboxing. Sometimes mostly MMA, and then maybe two Muay Thai or kickboxing bouts. So that's one of those uh, promotions that really mixes it up, and they've bought so many athletes. Like speaking of the UFC, they bought out a lot of the contracts for the athletes whose contracts expired with the UFC. And Chattery basically took that as an asset for their business and is able to help blow it up. I think I remember reading a couple months ago that the net worth of 1FC is actually more than the UFC. So uh, it's huge in Asia, uh, here in Europe and stuff like that now as well. Uh, a lot of fighters are really vying for it. And one of the benefits of it is they're based in Thailand. You know, obviously they have the Singapore and then they're also based in Thailand with Chattery. So the benefit of that is there's a lot of international fighters that are based in Thailand that have been there during the shutdown. So when there was no other fights going on anywhere else, we basically had 1FC pulling in quote unquote international fights. So you had international talent that was there, you know, the match with Thai versus Thai, uh, Thailand versus Australia, America, European fighters versus American fighters, uh, two European fighters battling out, Japanese fighters, getting uh, Chinese, uh, you know, the Chinese involved, Malaysia, all these other countries, Can Canadian fighters, you're seeing these people, I think even fighters from Mexico too, South America, Central America, and it's a really awesome thing, and I, I really highly recommend, they would be my first pick, because they have such a diverse uh, group. They don't have them as often. The quality fights can waver with that too. Uh, it kind of seemed like for a bit that they were just taking whatever they could get onto their show, you know, which there's nothing wrong with. There's nothing else happening. They're trying to keep the sport moving, and you gotta give them respect for that, but just so you're aware, uh, some of the fights may not be the highest, highest level, but they're still pretty entertaining. All right, so for the next one I have down here is Muay Thai Super Champ. So Muay Thai Super Champ, boom. All right, so Muay Thai Super Champ is broadcast live in Thailand. Uh, again, they have some international talent on there as well. They wear the traditional, you know, Muay Thai the bo boxing style glove uh, in the ring. They have women and men's fights on there. They have really great competitive Thai versus Thai matches, Thailand versus Cambodia versus Laos, you know, all those different countries in there. You do get some fight international uh, Muay Thai fighters that are based in Thailand that are competing on there right now as well. Um, you know, some of the fighters you'll see that are competing on 1FC in Muay Thai are also competing in Muay Thai Super Champ, okay? I'm trying to think. There is one fighter that's based on there, um, or a couple, if it comes to me. I'll, I'll get back to it, but 
uh, Muay Thai Super Champ. It's definitely one of the ones you guys want to check out. Again, it's on YouTube. It's free on YouTube. All right, they broadcast live, I think, on YouTube and on Facebook. So you guys can go on, uh, look at their schedule, do the time difference calculation, all that stuff. It'll probably be the middle of the night if you're anywhere in North America uh, or, you know, very, very early in the morning. So definitely keep your eye out. Muay Thai Super Champ, the promotion, uh, there's been some big fights. Rod Tang was fighting on Super Champ as well uh, from 1FC. And, you know, if the Fairtex fighters and stuff are on there too, uh, definitely it's a fully, like, it's not so much like an international style of Muay Thai fights. It's more stadium style, but it's still kind of under that, um, I guess you could say, entertainment style Muay Thai. Uh, my friend Matt Lucas, who's been on the podcast, likes to say. So with Muay Thai Super Champ, you'll get more of the entertainment style Muay Thai, but it's definitely there's more gambling and stuff like that going on that you'll not see in 1FC. 1FC is strictly entertainment, you know, international rules, whereas Super Muay Thai is a little bit more of the authentic uh, stadium style fighting that you'll see in Thailand too. Okay, so definitely go check out Muay Thai Super Champ. You see like Brooke Farrell from Australia, Eddie Farrell on there too, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure, I think Paul Benajiak was on there, the uh, Muay Thai technician. Uh, he's an awesome guy too. Uh, you'll see a lot of other fighters that are based in town that you'll, you guys probably recognize if you follow Muay Thai. Uh, and also some of the other guys over at the Muay Thai Guy podcast. Um, just if you're involved in Muay Thai, you'll see a lot of the names pop up over and over again. Okay, so definitely go check out Muay Thai Super Champ. All right, next one we have on here. Ooh, this one is a North American based promotion. So to give you some background on on this one, uh, this person, the CEO, uh, basically he did a lot of legwork uh, doing amateur promotions in the Bay Area of San Francisco in California. Uh, he basically started off, it was called the Bay Area Challenge. Uh, we had some of our uh, fighters and athletes compete on his events as well. Great promoter, tons of integrity, can't recommend him enough. Does a really good job matchmaking. That's actually how he met me. Uh, he called me, he's like, hey, you have this guy, I really want him to go out and go compete and get this experience with these uh, other people. Because I think he has what it takes to be like a, a tougher fighter and to give these guys problems. So. Um, he really goes out of his way to take care of all the athletes and stuff too, from my experience, uh, dealing with him and others experience too, and just talking with him. And he's definitely somebody that's all about helping to grow the sport. Um, this turned into a professional fight promotion as well. He did have pro fights on the amateur on the Bay Area challenge. And then this turned into what's called triumphant Muay Thai promotions. Okay. The CEO, Jeff Quarez, out of the Bay Area, uh, definitely somebody to look out for. He's making moves. He got triumphant Muay Thai broadcast on UFC Fight Pass. Met with Dan White. I remember seeing this all pop up on Instagram, Facebook, as he was making those moves over to Vegas and stuff like that too. Um, they just recently had their first card that uh, was set up in uh, Rosarito, Mexico. So if you guys haven't seen it, it's freaking awesome. I think it was like eight bucks for the pay-per-view. Uh, there's some good uh, professional rules Muay Thai. They also had the amateur card on there, too. Uh, some of the professional fights are on there. There's, again, international talent, too. Uh, they were trying to get... I think the main event was supposed to be Salah Khalifa. I can't remember who he was supposed to be fighting. But Salah didn't end up making it. Uh, I know that one of the American fighters, uh, Zach Bunnell. I think that's... Sorry if I mispronounced your name, Zach. Uh, but... He, he stepped up last minute to go fight for the WMC title uh, on, on Triumphant as one of the main events. Uh, there's, there's women fights that are on there. I know, like, for, if you think of, like, of uh, American fighters, they saw Magali Alvarez that was on there. That girl, I, she's broke it. There's, like, a video that went viral of her breaking some girl's arm on Lion Fight. So, uh, definitely a, a strong fighter on there, too. Uh, also, Cynthia Flores from Mexico. Uh, I've seen her fight over in Thailand before, down in Phuket on the international fight scene and stuff too. She was over there at Su Thai Muay Thai um, with, you know, when I, I think she was over there when uh, I brought her students over there, if, I, if I'm thinking straight. But I also saw, um, what's her name, uh, Yasmin uh, Salahi, I believe she's from the East Coast, but now based out of San Diego. Uh, and you're seeing a lot of other fighters that are, that are going up to step into there to go fight on Triumphant. Jeff did a great job. I know he had to jump through some hoops to get that stuff going in Mexico. But if there's there's a term right now you're probably hearing, it's you got to pivot. All right. So right now for these promoters, either life goes on or it doesn't. So Jeff 
props to you, man, for getting that out there and making Triumph happen. Uh, I streamed it. We had our one-day sale. Uh, we were watching the fights and stuff like that, uh, eating some food with our staff, and we, we really dug the fights. And I uh, just want to give you uh, a shout-out because I know you had to jump through some f massive hoops. There's a lot of haters out there uh, hating on people doing these kinds of events and stuff like that right now. Uh, and you went out there and you did it. had a safe event and I know you had some hiccups along the way uh, just given the situation uh, for all the shutdowns and whatnot and also having Mexico because we know how it goes in Mexico nothing ever goes as planned right so uh, again go check out Triumphant uh, promotions great promotion I know they're going to do more events or at least I hope they do I hope that one was successful if you see a pop-up then buy the live stream even if you can't see it live just to support it it's eight bucks that's nothing if you guys have eight bucks to spare if you buy coffee, Starbucks coffee, skip Starbucks one day. Just go buy go buy the live stream. Okay? Next one. This one is going to be number three on my list. This one is called Moy Hardcore. All right. So Moy Hardcore is uh, entertainment Muay Thai. And I would say this is more like, you know, C or B level professional fighting. Uh, maybe people who are up and coming or maybe they're just kind of dabbling in professional fighting out in Thailand. They also fight in the MMA style gloves and they're typically three round fights. Uh, more incentivized action uh, to press forward, not to like fight back and just score and just kind of sit back on the ropes. So you're going to see a little more action, but with that, you're going to see, especially right now with a limited pool of like entertainment style Muay Thai fighters in Thailand, uh, they're not signing on to other promotions they're going to be maybe not the highest level sometimes. I've watched some of the events. I'm kind of like, eh, I could have done with not seeing that, but I watch a lot of Muay Thai and also you have to give it to them. They're jumping through those hoops and making Muay Thai happen right now. And that's something that's very scarce. So definitely go check out Muay Hardcore. I mean, you're going to be entertained. If you're not entertained by the fights, you'll be entertained by the rock and music they play in the background. You won't hear the Sarama. They have like this overdone music. You can find them on YouTube. I believe they also stream live on Facebook. So definitely go check out Moy Hardcore. Some awesome fighters on there. Uh, I've seen a lot of familiar names on there too. Uh, so definitely go check out Moy Hardcore. All right. Last but most certainly not least, all right, is Max Muay Thai. So if you guys haven't seen Max Muay Thai, I highly recommend you go check out their YouTube channel. They broadcast live on YouTube and on Facebook. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm pretty sure they're broadcasting live on TV as well. Uh, super, just like Muay Thai Super Champ, they kind of come and go when it comes into the live streams on TV. Uh, and I think they have fights there six days a week. If I'm not mistaken, at, at Max Muay Thai. Uh, and the weekend fights are going to be higher level fights, whereas the weekday fights are going to be a little bit lower level fights typically. Uh, but that's not always the case. Okay? Uh, totally free. Uh, you can watch it live streaming. They upload the full broadcast on Max Muay Thai uh, onto their YouTube and onto their Facebook, and you can watch it later. All right? So you're going to be seeing fights upload from Max Muay Thai all of the time. All right, I have my friend uh, Travis Petralba who was fighting on there. If you guys haven't seen the episode of Travis Petralba, boom, you can see it right over here. So uh, my friend Travis Petralba from Oxnard, California, good friend of mine, he said he's on the podcast, traveled the world with this guy, um, saw him go fight out there uh, once before. He's been out there a couple times from the mango tree out in Hawaii currently. Uh, is where he's training out of, but definitely go check that out. So uh, also my friend Matt Lucas, uh, who I've mentioned before and has been on the podcast. He's actually one of the commentators. He's commentating a few days a week for Max Muay Thai as the English commentator. Uh, and you'll, you'll get a lot of insight from him and stuff as well. And I believe Rob Cox was one of the commentators on there as well. If you guys don't know who Rob Cox is, he's one of like the longest running uh, foreign photographers that's been on the Muay Thai scene out there in Thailand and in specifically Bangkok for a very, very long time. So I definitely recommend you guys go check that out. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, okay, go check out Max Muay Thai. Uh, you'll see, and again, this is more entertainment style Muay Thai. So in their three round fights, as opposed to five round fights, uh, the fighters are incentivized bonuses uh, to help press the action. So you'll actually see the referee call the fighters to center of the ring if one of them stepping back more than pressing forward. So this can be a good introductory for people if they're not used to the stadium style Muay Thai, maybe they watch UFC. It's a good way for them to watch Muay Thai and, and see what it is. It's not the highest level. Again, it's like C, 
sometimes B class, um, more like that. You'll get some A class fighters there every now and then. They do like special events where they'll bring in like top level fighters. But for the most part, it's C or B level professional fights. So you think about like that 40 fight and under uh, pro fight career, people not fighting at the highest levels. All right, uh, people kind of dabbling in Muay Thai, very similar to like Muay Hardcore uh, in, in that aspect. They wear the traditional, you know, boxing style Muay Thai gloves and stuff as well. Okay, so with that, you guys have a ton, and I mean a ton of options in regards to watching Muay Thai during shutdown. So if you guys have any questions, comments, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Uh, if you guys are listening on iTunes or Spotify, don't forget to leave a review. It means the world to us at Pu'u Muay Thai. Okay? Uh, all your support matters right now. Uh, this has been a crazy year. Went from, you know, two weeks to flatten the curve, and here we are nine months later. I'm living in Norway temporarily. Uh, help, man, a litany of reasons. Uh, but it's beautiful out here. It's... <laughs> basically nighttime all the time. Uh, I'm be producing a lot more content for you guys as we go forward through the new year. I uh, hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. If you guys haven't already as well, just so you know, we have uh, a whole line of winter clothes available for the Muay Thai lifestyle. I'll put it here on camera. You guys can see, I got shirts, we have uh, beanies, we have hats, dad hats, uh, e sleep keep shirts, awesome knock away apparel, uh, and also lifestyle apparel for women. And we also just started our kids line as well. So if you know any Muay Thai kids out there uh, that are looking for a gift for the holidays, definitely go check it out at pmtlifestyle.com. Uh, you know, if you guys are on there and you put in the code PUU10, that's going to give you 10% off on your first purchase with us. Okay, again, that's PUU and the number 10 at checkout. And you guys are going to get 10% off on your whole entire purchase. We ship worldwide. We have distribution centers all the way across the world, Australia, Germany, uh, Spain. We have them in Brazil. And we have three distribution centers in the United States and one in Canada. And we also have Desi Australia and Japan as well. So uh, if you guys are looking for some new Muay Thai merch, definitely go check that out. That directly supports the podcast. Uh, any shout outs you guys get for the podcast too, be sure to, uh, to let us know. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, guys. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody, uh, you know, and getting caught up. We're going to have some special guests coming in onto the podcast via Zoom shortly. Uh, also have some people out here in uh, Norway that I'm working on getting interviews set up with in person too. All right. So with that said, thank you so much, everybody. Have a kick-ass rest of your day. Look forward to seeing you soon. So what do you cop?